Okay, electron configuration. Whether you realize it or not, there is a lot we can tell about where a um, where an element lands on the periodic table as far as how it's going to react or how it's going to behave. First, we know that the periods tell us that how many shells it has. How many energy levels are there? And I'm going to erase those. So which energy level it is in tells us quite a bit. Um, and then we need to know, the other thing it can tell us is what orbitals are filled. S orbitals. P orbitals. D orbitals. for F orbitals. And these names have to do with the shape. The S orbital tends to be a sphere. The P orbitals are like a funky figure eight. The D orbitals are a four leaf clover. And I have not looked up what an F orbital looks like. How I think they're dumbbells. So at any rate, the orbitals tell you kind of their shape. Um, and in the S orbital, in each energy level, we can have one s orbital, and that orbital can hold up to two electrons. In the p orbitals, there are up to three p orbitals, and each one holds two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The d orbitals, there can be five, and each one holds ten. So there are ten electrons in each, up to ten electrons in each d orbital. And the or f orbitals, there are up to seven of the f orbitals, each with two, so that's 14. The other thing we need to know about the orbitals is I have to completely fill one orbital before I can go to the next orbital. And the suborbitals, remember I said the p orbitals, there were three. So the three suborbitals, you fill one in each one of those because electrons don't really like each other. So you have to fill one in each room before you can put a second one in each room. And remember, the other thing we need to remember, if our atomic number tells us the number of protons, if we're talking about a neutral atom, then it also gives us the number of electrons that we have. So we just said each orbital can hold two electrons. The first energy level has one orbital. The second energy, uh, energy level has three plus has four. And the third energy level can have up to nine. And we'll see how that works here in just a second. Okay, so the type of orbitals are based on the shape. We already talked about that. And here. So the one tells us the orbital or the energy level more specifically. This tells me the type orbital. And this tells me the number of electrons in that orbital. And keep in mind, I have to fill one before I can fill the next one. So if we look at lithium, lithium has is in the second energy level. We know the first energy level has one S, and there are two electrons in it. One, two. So two electrons in it. And then lithium is in the second energy level. So two S. And it's the first one in the S's, so it's going to be 2S1. Now, one way you can double check how you're doing on this is you can go through. Here is 2 plus 1 is 3. So lithium has three electrons, which in a neutral atom also means it has three protons. Lithium has an atomic number of three, so that would be correct. Um, now, there is another thing, another method we need to talk about. Uh, it's called the box method, and it tells us more about 
which of the suborbitals, where is it as far as, remember we said it had three p um, orbitals, which of those p orbitals have them? So if we do a box method, we have one s orbital in the first energy level and no p's. In the second energy level, we have two s, but we're not gonna get to the p's, right? So it's one s and we do the electrons one, two. And remember, I have to finish the first energy level and the first type of orbital before I can go to the next one. So one s and then there's one, two s. And that is called the box method. Carbon, if we look at carbon, carbon is in the second energy level and it has six electrons, six, six protons, which means it has six electrons. The first energy level has to be full, so 1s2. We know that the 2s2 is full. That's four electrons. And so now we're into the p's. So 2p, 1, 2. So 2p2. Two two. To do the box method, we have 1s, we have 2s, and the p's, uh, 2p. And so we have. We completely fill the S's before we go to the P's, and then we have two P's. And remember, I said they don't like each other, so they're not gonna share a room if they don't have to. Copper. Copper is right here, and it has 29 electrons. So copper is in the fourth energy level, and it is what we call a, a teenager. They are in the transition elements. They are unpredictable. I have to give you some more information before you can predict how it's going to behave. Did it get enough sleep? Did it eat breakfast? Whatever. Um, and also, it loses an energy level. Um, so it needs more rest. And so the way this works, we know that our first three levels are full. So we know 1s has 2. The second energy level has 2s2 and 2p has six because it's full. The 3s is full. The 4s is full because the s's had to be full before we go to the next level. And then we said that the teenagers lose energy, so it is going to be 3d, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 3D9. And those D levels would have to be full before we go to the P levels. So to do this in the box method, we have 1S, we have 2S, we have P's, 2P's, 3S, 3P, 4S, and 3D. And even though that is a 3D, and this is the reason that the third shell can have the extra five, is because um, when we're filling the fourth energy level, those Ds drop to the um, third energy level. Um, but we still have to fill it before we start filling the Ps. So, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I use a half arrow. It looks neater. You can use a full arrow, but I usually use the half arrows. So you'll see it both ways. And that would be the uh, the box method for that one. Neon. Neon is in our second energy level. 
It is right here. It has 10 electrons. And so we know it's in the second energy level, so we know that 1s2 is full. We know that the 2s is full. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is 2p6. In the box method, it is 1s, 2s, 2p, Okay, so arsenic. Arsenic is hiding here. It has 33. It is in the fourth energy level. So it the first energy level is full. The second energy level is full. The third energy level is full. The fourth energy level is not, but we we have the S's are full, the D's are full, and then we get to the P's. So 4S2, 3D10, because remember D's are our lazy teenagers, and 4S123, 4S3. The box method, we have 1S. We have 2s, 1, 2, 3, so that's 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, Three D and four P. So again, fill in your arrows. And we have three P's, so one, two, three. Now, you can see that some of these, as we go further into the periodic table, start getting very, very long and very, very cumbersome to do. So the shortcut method, as far as the electron configuration, this version, is you take the, um, Uh, these guys that are inert, the noble gases, you take the noble gas directly above it. So in this case, it would be argon. You're going to put it in brackets. And then you just have to do what is in the fourth energy level. So you just have to write that part. 4s2, 3d10, 4s3. So that will tell you exactly, uh, that gives you the shortcut method. So you don't have to write all of the stuff that we know. Because remember, we know that if I'm putting it into the next energy level, all the other energy levels have to be full first. The other thing you can tell when you look at this is if you just go to the last one, so 4s3, I'm sorry, 4p3. 4p3, I know that the very last electron is in p. First of all, we know it's in the fourth energy level. One, two, three, four, fourth energy level. I know that the last electron is in the p. And I know that there are three p electrons. So one, two, three. So that tells me it's arsenic. So you can look at that very last one on your on the electron configuration and know which element we're looking at. 
Okay, so potassium. Potassium is in our fourth energy level. So we know that the first three are full. So we know 1s2. We know 2s2. 2p6. 3s2. 3p6. And potassium is in the S, so we only have to worry about the S, 4S, and it is the first one, 4S1. So again, if all I was give, if I was given this and asked what element it is, all I really need to do is go to that 4S1. I know fourth energy level, S's, and it's in the first one. Um, so the shortcut method would be, again, going to the uh, noble gas above it, so argon. Uh, so argon, and then 4S1. To do the box method, 1S, 2S, 2P, 3S, 3P, 4S, 4S, and you'll note I always, almost always, 90% of the time, go through and fill up all my P's one at a time the way they should be filled in, even though I know it's completely full. That way when I have to do it and I don't have a full one, I don't make a mistake. Oh, and I just did that because I'm talking and not paying attention. It's 4S1.